thank you for your interest in this auction. We're going to have a closer look at this little Stife baby. Uh, he's from around the 1920s in as found condition. Just a gorgeous, lovely little bear. So let's take a look at the features that we have. Uh, although he is a tan color now, uh, he started life as a white bear, which you can see by the brown stitching of his nose and mouth. Uh, he has glass eyes that are brown and black, his beautiful original eyes. Uh, he is dates circa 1920s, so we can see, first of all, everyone is interested in the ears. So let's have a look at the ears. Uh, as I say, it's as found, needs a little attention on his right ear. We'll look around the back of it. So it's had a little bit of age loss there on the ear. Uh, most of the mohair is there, but some a little bit of it is gone. Uh, his left ear is there. Uh, it's in slightly better condition. You can see where his, his original button ID would have been. Uh, again, it's a little bit, a uh, little bit of age loss to the material in there and some weakening. But his left ear is in fairly good condition. Uh, let's take a close look at his snout. He has a darling little snout. He has the brown stitching going vertically and then a sort of an upside down V mouth as well. You can see the situation around the muzzle there, what hair is there, and what hair has left us. Taking a look at his pads, they are felt. So here's his right hand. You can see the stitching that remains there. So his right pad is in pretty good shape. A little bit of separation going on right there. Otherwise in lovely shape for the felt. His left arm. Let's have a close look at that. Again, in really nice shape with the felt. Still has his stitching in pretty good shape. Now let's take a look at his foot pads. So most of the bad news is in his right foot. So you can see the Excelsior stuffing through there. Lovely wood shaving stuffing. So that foot would need a little bit of attention if you want to restore him. Over here, there's some separation of the felt as well, so that's going to need some attention. But otherwise, this is what the pad looks like. Look at that opening again. Would help if a little bit of that stuffing were removed to give a little bit of slack to do the restoration on that foot. And then his left foot is in a little bit better shape, starting to get some separation of the felt right there, where you can see the Excelsior through there. And that's the condition. Let's take a look at the stitching on his feet. We move his arm out of the way, pardon me. So there are the four stitches on his left foot, and a little bit harder to see through the mohair. There are the four stitches on his right foot. Let's take a look at his joints. He's already trying to turn his head for us. A little bit loose in the neck, but it's well attached, and it does spin 360 degrees. Spin it back around. So that's his neck. Here's his right arm, rotating. All the joints are relatively tight for a bear from the 20s. I'm not detecting any repairs to those joints. And then here is his left leg. Here is his right leg, up like that. Rotate back down. And that's what they look like when they're together. You can see his seam down the front, still there. You can see the stitching right at the top there, peeking out. That's his front seam. Take a look at his back seam. All the seams are together. Uh, he does not have the face seam. I know some folks are looking for that. 
Some of them have the seam down the center of the face. He does not have that. Another look at him. And the one other thing to call out is his belly, uh, his, his squeaker, which doesn't squeak anymore, but you can see right there uh, that it's, it still has its spring operational, but there's no squeaking or growling or whatever he might have done before. No matter how you press it, it's not going to cooperate with any squeaking. Some of those, of course, are repairable, but that takes some work. There you go. There's our little friend. Take a look at him seated from all sides. He is approximately 12 and a half inches, a little bit larger. So I believe uh, you would call that the 32 centimeter bear. Take a look at him sort of standing. Again, he's, he's the 20s. He, he doesn't have that hump in the back. He has the longish snout, and he's just a darling. So thanks again for your interest. There he is, as found, uh, ready to be loved or restored as you choose.